Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I am going to explain about the mobile and handheld devices in the subject of mobile computing and this is going to be the fourth video related to mobile computing. So it is going to be the fourth lecture. In the previous three videos, I explained about the introduction to mobile computing, uh, applications of mobile computing, architecture of mobile computing and this is the fourth video in which we are learning about the mobile and handheld devices and what are the advantages and what are the uh, disadvantages that we have got. So let's quickly get into the video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for your friends as well. So first what do you mean by a mobile device mobile device does not only means your mobile phone your mobile phone is not the only mobile device that you have you have got many mobile devices and like mobile phones laptops and you know pdas tablets and so on so you have many mobile devices just like a device used to make calls and send messages you can do many things apart from this using your mobile and handheld devices so in mobile computing the like the very mostly used device is mobile device right even we feel very comfortable to use mobile phone rather than laptops and all those things because it is very handy it is very you know you can carry it wherever you can and even with the power issues and all your mobile phone is very useful for you right so and what about handheld devices handheld devices are nothing but the word itself says hand held you can hold that in your hand Portable devices, portable means which you can move from one place to another place, which you can take from one place to another place, which can just be carried in palm. You can just carry those devices in your palm, in your hand, right? And again, in handheld devices, you have three types of handheld devices, mobile computers, media recorders, and communication devices. Coming to mobile, uh, first one you have is mobile computers like all your laptops, PDAs, and tablets all these will come under this mobile computers that means a computer kind of thing which can be moved which you can move like which you can take wherever you go right and the next one we have is media recorders media includes audio video and all you can record your cameras or your digital cameras video cameras audio recorders media players tape recorders all these things will come under this media recorders which can play media like uh, you, you know uh, through which you can access, have access to different kinds of media. And the next one you have is communication devices in the end. Communication devices are nothing but you can say uh, landline televisions, cordless, tele uh, sorry, landline telephones, cordless telephones, mobile phones, all these will come under the communication. Walkie talkies, all this will come under the communication devices, which means, which means uh, the devices through which you can communicate from one person to another person the device through which you can communicate with the other person are called as the communication devices done so these are the three different types of handheld devices we have handheld devices are nothing but devices which we can just carry in our palm and types are mobile computers media recorders and communication devices and what are the advantages of handheld devices let us see now number one is portability you can carry them with you wherever you go wherever you go you can happily take them you can uh, use them without carrying a lot you cannot carry a desktop computer with you wherever you go right even if you carry them you need a power source you need a, you need an internet connection and all those things you need uh, to provide it externally right but whereas it comes to laptop you can manage with the help of laptop up to some time you can manage with mobile phone up to some time you can manage with pda up to some time so portability is more for handheld devices and smaller keyboards not only smaller keyboards the size is also very small so that you can easily carry them you can also um, like uh, keep them in your pockets and all and affordable prices the prices are also very less like not very less i say but uh, when compared to other devices the prices are also you can afford them right and what are the disadvantages of handheld devices so anything will have advantages and disadvantages as well right screen damage there is a, a chance of screen damage like you must handle them very carefully so suppose you are in a hilly area and you are taking a photo taking a picture of yours or your friends and suddenly you dropped your mobile phone then obviously the screen is damaged not only screen the entire phone will get damaged right so you must be careful when you are uh, using it and data input you cannot you know you cannot give a lot of input see 
laptop is okay but when you when it comes to the case of your mobile phone you cannot store a lot la large amount of data right of course nowadays mobile phones are coming with 256 gb capacity also but still in your laptops or in your desktops you can store a large amount of data compared to this so you cannot store large amount of data and at the same time the processing is also somewhat slow when compared to uh, you know other devices and compared to pc the processing is very slow in case of uh, mobile devices right so that's all these are the disadvantages of mobile uh, sorry handheld devices and the advantages and the types and all the things i've explained in this video so that's it for this video with this i'm going to close this i mean end up this video so in the next coming videos let's meet up soon with another concepts and that's all for this video guys and thanks for watching if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe and also share it with your friends and also let me know what you feel about the video in the comment section whether i have to improve my explanation or and so on any any information like any uh, comments i'll be taking them positively no issues because i'm not a pro youtuber right i'm also a beginner my motto is to just help you guys to cope up with your exams or like if you want to get any information my motto is to just to give you some information so that is the reason why uh, if any suggestions i definitely take them and still if you're having any doubts let me know in the comment section or through my instagram or through my gmail uh, details which i'll be providing in the description i'll also provide the play, uh, the link of the playlist of mobile computing in the description you can have a look and you can uh, learn the remaining concepts as well apart from mobile computing i have made different videos related to computer science and also i made videos on managerial economics and financial analysis so you can have a look at those videos also which will help up you and thank you for watching the video let's meet up soon in the next video